Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to recreate my shaking titles After Effects work without any difficulty inside of After Effects. So again, this is what we are trying to create today and it's a very straightforward technique. It's a very simple tutorial, minimalistic, simple, but it looks nice. So I'm going to share with you how do I do it and this is what we are trying to create, right? So let's get started awesome people. Now. This is an example of what you are not supposed to do when you're creating this. Now you can see that when I'm playing it, it works the same way. Okay, it has you, you can see that the tweaking part is not done right, but it pretty much has the same technique. So what is not so right about it? Well, when you're creating a trailer or an ending credits, this is not how you do it. This is the wrong style. Okay, so let me show you how exactly to work. Now, the first thing awesome people would be to create a main thing. Okay, a main composition. And next awesome people is to create called title 01 or set 01 or scene 01 or something like that, which basically indicates that this is where your first set of titles is going to go. And what the hell happened to this line? Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go create a new solid and uh, what and this is basically for BG. Now I'm going to keep this black, but it's always a good idea to work with a black solid and not to have an alpha channel. You see that now I don't have any alpha. I have a black background next awesome people i'm gonna lock this thing so it doesn't get in the way next i'm gonna take my text tool and type something out so i'm gonna go for editing now awesome people the font that i'm using over here is called is called bbass new or bbass or i don't know you know tons of different names awesome people so you're gonna go with this and i think it's a little too far i'm gonna remove this all right i'm gonna work with this awesome people and the first thing that i would like you guys to do is to go to your paragraph settings all right and take this option right here so it can be in any other alignment i want you guys to convert it to left alignment right here so if you were to change this uh in your future everything is gonna still be the same and you won't have any editing problems okay so this is quite uh, kind of important now awesome people we are supposed to move the anchor point so hit the y key get your anchor point move tool and move it right there all right and now awesome people here basically we're going to do a double click on the layer and type out anything we want now i'm going to stick to editing because this is a tutorial video but you can type out anything you want awesome people you can scale it up and down do all of that and you're going to be good so create a new adjustment layer i'm going to call this controller i'm going to go to fx i'm going to go to generate i'm going to go to actually expressions control i'm going to go to slider control take this option lock the panel okay uh, select your uh, text layer, hit the R key rotation and you're gonna start typing off small expression. So all to click on the stopwatch, type in wiggle. Um, we are gonna go with a very high number because you want a lot of movement in one second. So 50, comma, uh, make sure it's not a period key, it's comma key. Take your pick whip and attach it to the slider control over here. Okay, and close the bracket. There you go. So we have typed out our code. Now we just need to animate this. Now this is a very uh, you know dynamic sort of a effect. So I'm only going to go to 15 frames. Okay. Select your controller layer, start the animation, move back in time, and change the animation to somewhere about 10 to 15. Now you don't want to go crazy with 50, 60. That would just you know the the rotation parameter would be a lot, and that wouldn't look very nice. So 10 to 15 is a good value depending on the size of your text layer. That can change. Add the motion blur control to your text layer and start the motion blur for the composition. And now if you were to play this, check it out. We have this something nice, right? Now, if you want to add a little more ease to it, select the controller with the U key and you can play about with the easy ease functions of the keyframes. Add this, maybe add a peak to the left, take it to the extreme and you know, you may get a different sort of a feel. See that? So do all of that awesome people and see what works best with your videos. Now, the good thing of working like this is to like basically getting the whole expression things on first is that now I can still change the, I was to move ahead in time a bit. I can still change the size of the layers, right? Still do this. And I can create duplicates of this. So I can basically say, wait a sec. I can say editing, right? Editing is gonna be small. So I, I can again freely move it around without having to worry about the effect. Duplicate it, bring it down. And I can now say who was in charge of editing. So it was me, TJ style, right? And I can move them around, sort of position. And now if the controller is getting in your way, just lock it away and it won't anymore. 
position all of this properly right scale it down scale it off you can even change the color add more fx to this now if you were to play it you can see it still works so the technique still works now the only thing that you may want to do is to basically edit this right here you can make the technique slower quicker do all of that and to see what style of keyframing do you have so this i in my opinion this is not exactly working out i'm gonna go back to diamond keyframes and check it out this works i think the last one needs to be easy ease so do that there you go that works nice for me now also beagle what i would want you to do is that once you are done with setting up the title one is to go back to your project panel and duplicate title one over here so duplicate this title two title three title four title five now go inside title two and change the name so editing can be camera work right you can again scale it down no worries camera work who were in charge or who was in charge so to style i can say andy right andy something something and in my main composition i can just bring all of them together and i can sync them to the music so again tj editing tj style camera work andy and you can just keep on you know changing titles bring them to the main and composite the whole thing over here so this is how you create a credits scene a simple credit scene for your short film for your vlog um for anything that has a good music to it and a different style of effect in adobe after effects again a very simple tutorial a very straightforward tutorial and it, in the end it looks good so every now and then i like to you know do some simple tutorials for uh, some basic users uh, on youtube uh, but awesome people subscribe for my ch uh, subscribe to my channel for more advanced motion graphics videos uh, new tutorials coming up really really soon so make sure you subscribe like this video on youtube uh, like my facebook page subscribe to my channel do all of that and if you have any doubts my facebook link is in the description add me over there you can have a chat i can explain you a few things and you will be awesome so take care thank you for watching and i will see you all next time